uh, civil war has broken out in uh, Russia. The Bolsheviks, the Reds, are fighting the Whites. And also, there's a border war between Poland and Russia. Basically, uh, I, think, I think Poland, believe it or not, it's hard to believe that Poland was ever the aggressor. But I think Poland was actually the aggressor here because they claimed their border was further east. And once again, Zamish is caught in the middle of all of this. Okay. You, it, this was on, uh, this would be 1920 now. This would be September, uh, August 29th, 1920. Ukrainian troops who were allied with the White Armies invade Zamosh. And they blame the Jews. They say the Jews of Zamosh are allied with the Bolsheviks, with the Russians, not the Poles. And so there is a major pogrom in, in 1920. Um, People are terrorized, uh, women are raped, uh, beards were cut off of pious men. You, you see pictures of the, of, the, of the Nazis, you know, 20 years later doing this, okay, during the Holocaust, okay. But this kind of practice apparently was done uh, much earlier. Um, four Jews were killed, uh, 37 were, were wounded. My father's older cousin told me personally what they did basically was they, they it was dangerous I think to stay in the house because you would be a target so they hid in the garden outside the house uh, she used the expression they buried themselves in the garden I don't think they literally buried themselves but they were probably hiding behind the, uh, the shrubbery and so forth and they could hear the screams and so forth and in fact my, my, my father's cousin told me I remember it like, like, a, like a dream okay my father, I, many years later, I asked him, what do you remember about, about Zamosh? He, he remembered two things. He was very young. He was, only, he was about five and a half, six years old at this point. So he remembers walking in the mud, and his boots would get caught in the mud. That was one thing he remembered. And the other thing he remembered, he said, his, the rabbi's hand was cut off during a pogrom. And I you know, researched this later, and I said, I had... There was no other history of pogroms prior to this in, in Zamosh that I know of, at least. And I don't think he saw it personally. Maybe it was told to him by his parents, or what, what, what occurred, whatever. You know, years later, you know, my father, w w when I was growing up, he would cry out in his sleep. He would have sort of like nightmares periodically. And my mother would, would wake him and say, it's okay, whatever. And this was, you know, and I've always, I've always wondered now whether something like this was something that was, I don't know, because I don't think he remembered, you know, haunting his, you know, his memory or whatever. I mean, who knows what, what it was. But anyway, my grandfather at this point, Grandfather Shia said, that's it, we're going to America.